Now, as we saw uh, a week or so earlier, okay, we're going to, instead of uh, going off in a straight line, this force is going to cause the path to curve a bit. So, uh, let's say the path does this sort of thing. Now, all the time, this uh, object is moving away from the planet, uh, moving with a velocity that stays, at least for a time, at a non-perpendicular with the force of gravity. So here we have another velocity. Here we have another force of gravity. Uh, according to this picture, uh, this velocity is still uh, going to have a negative projection on the force of gravity. And as long as that's the case, the satellite's going to continue slowing down and curving toward the planet. Okay, at some point, the satellite is going to have curved enough that its velocity is perpendicular to the radial line. I'm not sure how the picture shows that very well. But here's the velocity, and here's the force of gravity. And they're more or less at a right angle here. And I'm not sure I've drawn a very good uh, orbital shape. But we get the idea that uh, in burning the engines, in delivering this impulse, we've kicked the velocity out in a direction that's no longer perpendicular to the path. And in this case, has a component, a projection on the velocity, on the uh, force vector that's in the direction opposite the force vector. Okay, and I'm not sure I do a very good projection there either. These pictures aren't overly accurate. But the thing I'm trying to depict is, as we curve closer and closer to the planet, the projection of the velocity vector on the gravitational vector continues to decrease until we get out here uh, at a point where the curvature has brought the velocity into uh, back to a perpendicular with the uh, radial line and the gravitational force. Now, all this time, uh, the satellite has been moving away from the circular orbit. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to try to, well, maybe I will. Let's see if I can draw a circular orbit here. Get myself, yeah, this point's a little far out. Okay. And, uh, here. So let's say that uh, here's our original circular orbit. We've moved out away from that circular orbit. What's going to happen now? Well, the direction of the satellite, well, the path is going to continue to curve toward the planet. And what we're going to get is we're going to get the, uh, we'll be in a situation where uh, the velocity is now at less than 90 degrees to the force of gravity. So that the velocity component in the direction of the gravitational force not opposed to, but in the direction of the gravitational force, meaning that the satellite is going to, uh, slow, uh, is going to speed up, okay, because gravitational force is now doing positive work on the satellite. So we get this extended orbit, uh, and it turns out this is going to be an elliptical orbit, and we haven't proven that. Uh, that takes a little bit of work. And uh, we, we might or might not actually prove that in this course. It's borderline. Uh, as far as being within the uh, within the scope of this course, okay. But that's a qualitative picture of what happens if we try to change our orbit by delivering some sort of impulse.